Okay, the time has come for me to be direct. I'm going to make this video very short, straight and to the point. Oh, I appreciate Brethren. I've seen a couple videos today. Um, Brethren just speaking the truth. I've also seen Brethren being uh, getting struggles from the enemy, trying to call them out. Things that are just unclean, saying they're not this, they're not that. And then I see the music industry, which I don't even listen to secular music like that. Once in a great while, I hear a pretty good song. Stay away from all those that have passed away. I don't need to go back into that because you're bringing up spirits you don't even need to bring up. So I'm going to talk like this. My videos and anything that you find on me, if you see anything that is um, completely of obscenity, I didn't write it. I didn't send it. I didn't subscribe to it. Nor did I um, want it in, in any of my information. It is distasteful and abomination to the Most High and blasphemy to His Son when you send people pornographic material who say they're of the Most High. Also, we have to be careful what we subscribe to because if we're getting a channel and someone has stuff in there that might not be appropriate, it goes through you. So I want to say the other day, this happened to me. My son saw it. I had to go through a whole lesson, not that he doesn't know about certain education at his age, but it was disrespectful, okay? So I am praying uh, over all those here on Sabbath that want to try to um, scorn in wisdom, that want to try to infiltrate nastiness or want to pretend that they want to know about the light. This is disrespectful to the Most High. So I'm going to read straight out of the Apocrypha. And blessings to all those that are definitely doing the best they can. Okay? I'm sitting at home. I'm going to be in this house. I'm going to be read. I'm telling you sometimes you've got, to, you've got to break down and do that. You have to just sit still. Peace be still. And watch what's going on, especially on the Internet. Because I notice a lot of us are going through the same kind of things in the same week or the same day, same things going on. I'm going to tell you like this. There aren't many. But for us who are going to fight this fight, we are going to tell it like it is. And we're not going to be afraid. Because the Most High is with us. His Holy Spirit is alive. Christ is that Holy Spirit coming out and that lamp has oil. So all those that want to be of the Heavenly Father, that want to be of the Word, that want to understand the light, that want to be um, living as Christ's life as like as they can, all you others might as well just forget it. Stop pressuring. And then, what, Kanye West coming out with a book about being Jesus. Blasphemy. Or the music industry with those flaunting their stuff. Or people sending pornographic material to us light brethren. We don't want to see that on our main page. So I apologize if you see things you shouldn't. I'm trying to get rid of it as much as I can as I learn how to dissect all this uh, web uh, designing and browsing and all that. But if you subscribe, subscribe because you want to know the real truth. You want to know what's going on. Who you are. You want to uh, bring praise to the Most High. It is wickedness, and there's darkness out there. Now, normally, I would be talking about Holy Spirit being natural, finding ways to understand who you are, how to cook certain foods, things like that. But I'm going to tell you, and you sisters who are in these camps and not speaking and not telling anybody anything, because I understand you have a headship, right? But my headship is Christ, because I gave up a relationship for that. You try to still talk to that person and be like, you know what, no, you got to understand that, it, you know, Christ is coming for his bride and then the judgment day is going to come and stuff like that. But for those out there that are nasty and being stinky on the internet, for us, we don't want to hear it. We don't want to see it. We don't want to know about the cussing. We don't want to know about the obscenities. What we want to do is rebuke it in Jesus' name, the blood of Jesus. And we also are getting that from him. We're rebuking in his name, not of our own will, not of our own will, of his accord. And we're also going to expose it. You cannot rewrite the book of the heavenly word. 
You cannot add and change it. People not talking about Christ coming for his bride. Whether some of us think it's one day or the next day says we don't know the day or the hour. Because not only times, we don't know the exact day and the hour. But you know what we do know? We know prophecy. We see what's going on in the world. Brothers and sisters, stand together. Don't let your light go out. I keep showing you this. Don't let your light go out. Keep that light strong. I'm not angry. This says love your enemies, doesn't it? Many have talked about that too, huh? It says love your enemies. You know why? It's the way to get past it. You can expose, then you have to love your enemy by telling the truth, exposing, professing the Most High's name, His Son, and that Holy Spirit. All that in discernment and truth works together. You can't deny it. All you out there making money and doing this kind of thing, well, woe is me, and I can do this. You're not going to get money from people like us, not like brethren. We don't want to spend our money that just keeps a head, a, a roof over our head, into your vainness. You have enough. It's not a jealousy that we care about. It's that you're bringing blasphemy to the Most High by changing the words of truth. For instance, in the Apocrypha, 2nd Esedrus, chapter 15, and Father, please watch over me as I make this video. Please, Father, help me to be strong and to be light-hearted at the same time, but firm. So I didn't get that chance to do it right before, so I'm just going to do it. Now, I'm not praying over everyone. That's not my job to pray over the whole entire world, the whole nations. But you must understand, brethren, some of you are asking me, when are you leaving or what, what are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to stand. You know why? Because not a sword, not principalities and powers of darkness, the sons of darkness, can try to eat this flesh, but they cannot. They will not be able to stand against that. Holy Spirit is real. It's alive. This, people go to church to get whatever. No, this from head to toe, inside, bears witness. The Holy Spirit bears witness. So that's the first witness. Second witness. My flesh is seeing what I'm saying. It is. Your flesh is seeing what everybody's saying. And third, you have a second witness. Whoever you're talking to, whether it be on the internet, whether it be someone next to you, you're professing by talking. And what you're professing is that you want to live Christ-like. And you know who Yeshua is, Jesus of Nazareth. You know who the Christ is standing and or sitting at the right hand of his Father. You know who that is. That's a shine. That's a light. Some of you are getting visions about different things not something you have to broadcast but you do know and you know what I say now it's not so much about talking about Christ's bride it's staying strong while we're waiting because you can get caught off guard by focusing on that day hey my day's already passed I was thinking some things but the day that I thought I was feeling caught up or would have caught up guess what happened thunder lightning and hail and I heard it and I said father because I knew it was a warning. It was a warning to the nations. And on top of that, so let's go to Second Esther chapter 15, verse 21. It says, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen, so will I do also, and recommend in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord God, my right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. I usually don't do mine on the Sabbath. I'm going to tell you something about this Sabbath. It's particularly different tell you what the reason why this one is different is because it's after all of the different feasts all of the Passover all of everybody's religious Easter and nonsense and paganism but guess what see that light coming through because it's this light here like I told you the light the candle not giving up not letting it go out keeping that oil lit got the sands of time coming through Right? Okay? Those colors, pretty colors, but guess what? There's not a lot left in here. You know what I do know? The Most High, His Son, and Yahweh, they're watching. See, Christ watches His saints. He watches the flock. He shepherds the flock. He watches. 
He watches from the Holy Spirit. He watches. He watches around. See what's going on. This shield of faith here, this shield of Holy Spirit, keeping it strong, watering it like a plant day and night. Getting in the Word. Because this Word, Christ, the living bread, it's like you can eat it right out of the Holy Word. It's got to go into you, and you've got to be able to understand. Now, I want to say this. Healing on the Sabbath. So if you go to Matthew chapter 12, I'm going to say it like this. Healing on the Sabbath. Now, when he had departed from there, he went into their synagogue, and behold, there was a man who had a withered hand. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath that they might accuse him? Then he said to them, What man is there among you who has one sheep? And if he falls into a pit on the Sabbath, will he not lay hold of it and lift it out? Of how much more value than it is a man than a sheep? Therefore, it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand, stretch, stretch. And you know what? Many are stretching by being upfront, honest, and having the faith to speak. This is a blessing having this YouTube. I used to think it was a curse. It's an actual blessing. It can be curseful. Demonic things coming through it, trying to take off your internet information, trying to send things through, trying to use people, trying to... Um, test uh, your video logging and all that kind of stuff. But guess what? The Most High says there's power in many. Even a power in few, just a mustard seed. Mustard seed of faith. And on the Sabbath, it's a good day to repent, isn't it? So someone making a video saying you should repent, that's exactly what we should do. I repent today. If anything I've done, Father, anything I have done in your name that has not been correct, Father, if I've done anything, I repent. And I will do it personally on my own as well. But I'm saying I'm not um, embarrassed to do those things. I'm not embarrassed to say any of that. And I bring all praises to the Most High. And I am representing sisters who are telling it like it is. Brothers. Sons and daughters of light who are telling it like it is. Not just ooh, who they are, if they're Hebrew or not. Oh, you're a believer. No, it's more than that. you got to go that step above, a higher level to understand this. You need to go back in time of creation. You need to understand, why is it in college? Someone specifically says in my college class professor, oh, Hebrews didn't help um, anything in Egypt. They didn't, they didn't build anything. We were slaves. Our people were slaves. But you know what? Then I had to stop, take a moment, breathe, and say, you know what? Most High wants me to hear it, give some sort of scriptural background, prophesy that it is the truth, the Holy Word, and then quiet up and sit still. And pray about those things that happen and about those people who try to persecute and oppress us, even on the Internet. Because, you know, it is a good day for someone to say you should repent for trying to be like you, thinking you are Jesus or God, or you can write something that is inappropriate. How dare anybody try to be the most high? Look what Satan devil did. He's got all these wicked folks running around here. Buying CDs about other people singing, it's not even their voice. Getting it from a different wicked realm, right? A different wicked realm. And you got, and some of you out here listening to this wickedness, worried about watching radio stations and um, listening to, oh, this rapper and that rapper and this and that and all this, la 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 la. Guess what? Are they reading? Are they taking in accurate knowledge? Are they getting the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Are they having their armors on? It's not all about the gold. This is just a dress. It's not all about the gold and that. It cleanse inside, cleanse outside the Holy Spirit and understanding. There will be reckoning. There will. Power outages and all the things going on. You know what? Yahuwah, the Most High, is not pleased, but He is a loving Father. He's patient, even with our nation. But He's been patient over and 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 time is running out I have to heed my own words that's why I make these videos and keep them so I can even say you know you gotta heed your own words constantly it's a constant fight with the spiritual warfare but you know what in the end who will win you will see Christ come from those clouds and he will comfort his bride. And then there will be judgment day when the Most High says, put that sickle down and reap the harvest and then come back and judge. 
not just the nations. It's not that someone has to be perfect. It's that you should be able to at least admit that you're wrong, to be liar, deceiver, lawlessness, pride, vengeance, tied up in the wrath of the heart of a man. The flesh is not okay. It has to stop. It has to stop. It says, do not be afraid, my child, for seek first, therefore, the kingdom and all other things will be added to you. You don't need a light, a lot of light, but light will be added to you. Covering eyes so you can at least see and go, what, buy some of these at the, the mall so I can see. Have skin that's clear because we don't put all that filth on it. What goes in is what comes out and it shows. It shows. So like I'm saying, for someone to say it's a good day to repent, it sure is a good day to repent. Pray that it doesn't come on the Sabbath or the winter. Can you imagine if it was to come right this second? Christ returns right this second and you've tried to say you're him. Try to say that you are God or you are the most high. We don't worship man like that. I won't worship him. None of us are going to do that. We're going to be sons and daughters of the light and understand we are not going to worship man. We respect because they're the leaders. That's the land we're in. It's not promised. But that's the kings and queens. That does happen. You do have to. But there are ways in which we must always focus on what is our initiative. What's our main purpose on this planet now? Are we here to make ourselves holy? And I'm not talking about you cannot get a degree or something. Okay, you've been working towards that. I was working towards that. What I'm saying is it's different now. I'm looking at my eyes. Look at this. I'm looking at my eyes. I can see myself, who I am, right here. You may not like me this close. See my eyes? You might not like me this close talking to you. There comes a point. There comes a point when you have to grow up spiritually. And, and sending people pornographic films or even, you know, it's rude that somebody, because whoever sent that to someone else, it's then it was sent to my channel. Underage children shouldn't see anything like that. On top of that, that's just legal that way. Saying, oh, it's okay. No. Women, respect yourself now, men. Be that leader. Be that head. These, these boys need you. These young boys need you. They need you to be Christ-like. They need you to set an example. They need you to love, the, love them. Parents must love your children and, and talk to them. Tell them, you, you don't want to go to juvenile hall. Is that where you want to go? You want to stay out late? You want to disrespect the Most High? You need to read on Sabbath. You need to pray and think about these things. You need to read all the time. Have that personal relationship in that time. It's the children I'm really worried about now. And you single parents, you know what? As wicked as this world is, because, you know, I used to study more about, well, I was doing both. You know, I was studying also about what was going on in the world, like the music industry, stuff like that. I don't have to worry about the Illuminati, all that stuff, New World or none of that stuff I'm worried about. I'm staying in the light. See, the light. And it's like this. So look at this candle right here. And I think about Christ and helping me to maintain this is how close I want it to be right here, right next to me. You understand what I'm saying? Keep me lit up, not a blemish. And look, it's right right here. I don't want no darkness in here. No, pray over everything in my home, pray over my children, pray over uh, the internet. When I have to use it for video, pray over everything that I may come in contact with, good or bad. Because some situations you think are a good situation, they turn out bad. Some that you think are bad turn out good. We don't always know, but our Father knows. See, He knows, doesn't He? He knows. He knows our hearts. He knows everything. Someone will say, well, how can you change this and this? You know what? Be encouraged. You can change. You can change something overnight. Did you know that? For anyone who sees this video, I'm just going to post this straight out. I, said, I don't know. It's not for glory, but it's just stuff to say. It's something to be said. If you fear the devil don't. You know why? He knows his day is short. He knows it's coming up on him. You have to pray over things. You have to ask in holiness, holiness to the Divine Father. All of creation. 
you have to really pray incessantly in a certain manner on different prayers in different situations. You have a lot. There is power. Saints, wake up. If you're already awake and I'm seeing your video, please, if you don't subscribe, please send me a video so I can see it. And let me be encouraged. Please, let us be encouraged. When your video starts slowing up and I'm seeing myself talking, I'm all of a sudden it's slowing up, it starts saying reconnect. That's because you really find, you see that Holy Spirit, you feel that Holy Spirit, and no one wants you to get it out. There's need to hurry up and quick, make a video or stop it or something. That's why I'm keeping this little light right here on top of the light. It's just one of those things. But I will say this. I'm going to read this, and I'm going to go ahead and get off for right now and go on to what I was doing and get in the kitchen. So, now, if you notice, all those thinking they have some kind of power over the saints or some kind of power over the elect or some kind of power over those believers in Christ and that they're going to make their life miserable by... Um, disrespecting no because the most high he's been he's been disrespected for a long time but he won't stay disrespected because he always gets respect because we love him we'll do his will and we will serve Christ the way he wants us to under his kingship under his rulership no matter who we are we're gonna we're going to be and do and say and speak and feel and learn we're educated we're gonna keep being educated we're gonna see the mysteries of the holy word we're gonna we're gonna we're going to, it's all cracked open because we're allowed to, you're allowed to understand. Don't be scared to look at material. Understand. Okay. Understand you can do beyond the simplistic and imaginable. And if you know who you are, you know what? It's not time to just stop with the abuse of speech in YouTube videos. Stop with the abuse of speech on brethren. We're trying to just tell you something good. Stop it, please. And repent. Those wicked ones who want to try and rewrite the holy word and stuff. Now listen, I'm going to show you. This is two ones who want to be wicked. We're not talking about brethren. And that. I'm talking about right here who want to be wicked and say this. You see this? I'm going to show you because you, you believe it might not be in the word. See that? A warning. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of this prophecy, this book, if anyone adds to these things. I'm not talking about little notes on, on one of the delicate pieces of sheets of writing. Okay? We're talking about adding things, taking things away, changing names, stuff like that. It says, if anyone adds these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. The plagues. You think you had a sore, a pimple? Try having leprosy. Ebola is bad enough. Try having something more like that. Darkness come over your family because you don't want to do right. Repent while well, we can. We all have to repent. We get a chance. Every day, wake up. Repent. Sorry, Father, for you. Repent. Love thy enemy as himself. As thy, love your neighbor as yourself. I understand your enemies. There's a way to love them without, um, without persecuting yourself or being oppressed. There's a way also to love them without saying too much or even walking away. It can be love. I'm telling you, screaming, the more and more I'm in this, this truth, screaming is just not a part of it. There are times I get a little riled up like this video. I don't really like to scream. I like to kind of be quiet and calm, relax, because that's what the Holy Spirit brings to me. But we also have to be direct, grit our teeth like this, grit them, say what we mean, mean what we say. Because yes is yes and no is no. There's no wavering. And that says... From the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. From the holy city, that means you cannot get a chance. You won't have a chance. If you don't repent. You don't understand. That some things are unforgiven, like sinning against the Holy Spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. So it says, I am coming quickly. He who testifies to these things says, surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, Lord, even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And the spirit, and then we're back in verse 17, look at it, even says the bride. So it's telling us to come for his bride. Well, says, I just want to keep people getting, giving those tithes in church, right? You just want to keep having them bring the tithes and coming on Sunday as though they're going to be blessed because they came on Sunday. I already did that before, been there. I went to meetings, what, three and four times a week. It was beautiful at that time. I was going through a lot. So I understand, but there's a time and place. So I'm going to read it like this. Let's go to Revelation chapter 22, the river of life. The time is near. I mean, there's all these subtitles to it. Read chapter 22 on your own. Really understand that. 
But I'm going to say this right here. Verse 12, and behold, I'm coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. So when it says give to everyone, I mean the wicked too. You're going to reap what you've been sowing. You know who you are, and you know the word, and you just worried about that money in those mansions and them cars. They're not going to fly. They're not going to be flying up to the clouds. One car is sufficient. Two cars, if you have a situation like don't even have to drive a car. Walk if you, if you can. If you can. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, first and the last. Based on, ba excuse me, blessed are those who do his commandments. No, if, um, please send all evil spirits and things away from me because I get tongue twisted if I'm thinking. Let, let the Holy Spirit work. I need to read this, so. I just need a moment to, to say that to my Heavenly Father. Blessed are those who do His commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, that they may have the right to tree of life, if they're blessed because they're doing the commandments. But, I mean, simplicity is faith. When it says faith without works, it's, you know, someone says, oh, you didn't do any works, you're not, you're not on the pulpit, you're not Sunday school. This is class, you're in session right now, I'm in session. When we speak the truth, anytime you have a uh, comment or a conversation with somebody, unbeliever, believe you, it's a testimony and understanding, edification, and then also being able to prophesy the fact that what it says in the Word is a prophecy. So it's always teaching, reproving, setting things straight for all of us, constantly. So for someone to say, no, you, no, your works are that you're doing what the Most High is saying, and you're following His Son, and you believe in His Son, die for our sins. It doesn't mean keep sinning and sinning and being disrespectful, writing books that try to take people's names out and all that kind of stuff. That's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to be dancing with a thong on um, the platforms on stage and thinking you're supposed to be wearing white and looking like you're blessed. No, it's not. We're not talking about that kind of light, the light of the devil. We ain't talking about that trying to be all glittery and gold so you can look like you're in the light. That's that nonsense light. That's not the light I'm talking about. I'm talking about the light of truth, the way of the Christ, the way he walked, the way Jesus told us. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go on to verse 15, chapter 22 of Revelation. Follow me, please, if you can, or understand it yourself on your own time. But outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexual immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie. A lie is a lie is a lie is a lie. I lied before in my life. That's why I don't do it no more. Once you tell one, you tell another one. Even if you try and tell the truth, half truth sounds like a lie. If I just said, ooh, I prayed and didn't pray, that's just, to me, that's, that's not okay. So just do it. Stop and do it. Stop lying. Stop lying about everything. Stop lying to yourself if you are a liar. Nation, stop lying. Tell the truth. Better just to tell the truth. But you want to be leaders. Everybody wants to be a leader, ambassador. You want to be a leader, a king, queen, all these things. Lie about everything. About psh, Your father's not worried. Our father, I should say, not your mom. Because I'm not, I'm not worshiping the God of this world, this is the matrix world. I'm worshiping the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he says, follow his son. That's plain and simple. So, you know what? And you know, for a lot of people, you know, I talk to a lot of people and they say, oh, you know, Christ died for me and he's forgiven. No, he didn't just die so you can go smoke a cigarette outside. He didn't die so you could um, go be immoral whenever you want. It's a time. Stand up. It's time. Stand up. Take that position. As, mm, shield of faith and put that armor on. Stand strong. Do what you're supposed to stand strong. Fight the fine fight. The fine faith. The strength of a lion. It says, verse 16, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David, offspring of David, the bright morning star. That's the, that's the star. <laughs> Excuse me, but Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ, Christ is the biggest star, not 
in the music industry, on stage, with a star, shining a light on some entertainer, that is not the morning star. Wake up, good news. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you the truth. So all you young, you know, young parents, whatever, you have these young children, you let them use, listen to all this bump and grind music and all this stuff. Mm-mm. Because the most bright morning star is the Savior, the Redeemer, okay? The one who came and died as a man. He came here. And the one who threw out Holy Spirit, okay? And so that the apostles could, could know how to talk to ones when he wasn't here, when he was gone. But he is at the right hand of his Father. And if you think you can um, overtalk him... Or not follow his words, it's not going to happen because you know why? We all are going to follow him. Mm -hmm, that's right. You and me, the ones who are listening, not the ones for the wicked that just rebuke, it, uh, not rebuke, excuse me, who just want to disregard his punishments or disregard his teaching, his words, disregard how he has respect for the Most High. You go through him to get to the Father. She can't just walk around always saying, God bless, and God, 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 God. Never even speak about Christ. See, they work together. There's Holy Spirit within that. You have to recognize the Holy Spirit. Because if you don't recognize the Holy Spirit, and you denounce, you even knew that there was Jesus, or you denounce the fact that there's no Holy Spirit, and you tell someone they're devilish, or they're um, wicked because they believe in the Holy Spirit. There's something wrong. We're not talking about talking in tongues where nobody can understand you. So it says in the word you talk in tongues means other languages that can be understood and tra translated. Okay? You know what I'm saying? We're not talking about falsifying prophets and things like that. It's a time and place, and this is that time. We're in that time, that last few seconds, and this is the day. This is the time and the date of this this year. This is the time. I love to repent. It goes easy on my heart. And I'm not talking about going out. I'm not trying to rob nobody, take from nothing like that. I'm saying just even if I have a feeling, repent. I'm sorry, Father, I had that feeling. So, like I said, this is just what it is. So I testify to these things. As it says right here, you testify to set things straight. It's for reproving, setting things straight. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say shalom. I remember this right here. I'm going to just stop it with here. This is the word of truth. This is it right here. If you can't believe, let's see if I get on here. If you can't believe right here that he's coming quickly, I'm so sorry for you because I can pray for you. I mean, you want to call me? I'll pray for you. I mean, you know. You have a comment or a question or something, just any, any breath, you know, sons and daughters like leaders in Christ. I mean, we're not trying to play with you. It is what it is. Jesus has a love for you. So love yourself enough and respect yourself enough to repent and to be shameful for the fact you're making books and stuff saying you're Jesus. I mean, it's just not okay. Or sending people nasty videos and things. Stop it. If you want to be nasty or something, you go to those nasty little open rooms and, and do all that dirty talk. Okay? I've had enough of it. It's going to stop. So I'm loving thy neighbor by being respectful enough to tell you. Respect me as your neighbor. Okay? And let the Holy Spirit work what it's supposed to. Okay? In union with the Most High and going through Jesus. Your Savior. And I welcome all to invite me, as I said before, in hopes that we all... The ones who can come to the accurate knowledge, understanding, and discernment, and find knowledge, and then turn it into wisdom by being wise in your decisions with the word, Jesus Christ, and the light, the truth, the living bread, the ever-eternal water that will flow for those who have been washed clean, made renewed, the blood of the Lamb, who have not been defiled, who have changed their life, who don't have a blemish. Is that you? Is that me? Is that we? Make it turn from a noun or pronoun to a verb. Be that action. Supplicate. Sacrifice your time and give him you. He deserves you. 
He chooses you and you choose him to do his will. No matter if you end up being a servant in the new kingdom, no matter if you end up being what he wants you to be, the elect, he's allowing you to have responsibility over uh, a land or area, the, something in the kingdom. You're serving him day and night because that's what we do. We love him. Fast if you have to for a couple hours. Don't eat for a couple hours. Just read if you can, health wise. Or pray for a couple. Let him know who you are. Let him know you're there and you love him and you need him. Bring him into your life. But don't disrespect. If you don't want to read the word, look, if you don't want to read the Holy Word, don't make books. Of, look, all those who say they're. Di no, Buddha. I'm not Buddhist. Okay, you want to meditate on understand. I knew Buddhists before. Still not in the Holy Word. It was made for Israelites. You still cannot be somebody who you are. Hindus, Christianity that celebrate the holiday is not okay. Cults that are out there. But I thought that's what was the truth. It's not. Even Jehovah's Witnesses know. Some of us are not even teaching about Christ's bride. Not about just not celebrating the holidays. You're not telling people who they really are. You're not talking about the 12 um, tribes of Israel. You're not talking about the 144,000 correctly. And all that. Whether I have family that, that was in that or not. That's it. And, and Catholics. The Vatican. And all that nonsense over there. You are not only have all these corporations and banks. But you're still in people's hearts by turning things into Easter. And stuff. All that is wrong and evil. And you know it. And it's going to go with the most highest leaders are going to feel this wrath in these few months to come. They're going to feel the wrath of the most highest hand. You can't stop the wind from blowing. You can't be stopped from hell hitting you and throwing you down on the ground. Or earthquakes shake the ground as it talks about in Revelation. All the seven bulls are going to be poured out. All that that's taking place. You won't be able to stop it. No matter how much money you have or what politician you are, who you are. Your rich, riches mean nothing. There's no riches in the kingdom of the Most High. And I told someone that yesterday. And they said, no, it also says it's better to be, yeah, take care of yourself. If you're trying to, your riches, no. He says, I have rich treasures, yeah. I actually looked at the person I thought I knew for over 10 years and said, you know what? He's not talking about money, although we're well-to-do when you look back at who our people were. Yeah. There were kings and queens. You know why? Because in the Most High sight, they were. Abraham was his friend. Christ. Jesus was the Messiah. So yes, there is riches, treasures, crowns. But you know what? He chooses that. Your money can't do anything for you. Look, all the devil signs on the money. All the, it's, just a, it's just what we need to get through. But there's no riches that is going to be of value in the kingdom of heaven for that. The most high new kingdom it's going to go away. Think about that. All leaders, think about that. Who are you following? And really, what is a leader? leader needs to be smart. That means you lead. By first you follow, then you lead. And you do it by example. You teach. But the most high ones, not this worldly mumble jumble. It's okay to be educated. Know your math, science, arithmetic. I say arithmetic from back then. But, um, you know, a little bit understanding how society works, things like that. But you know what? It's the time to get to that new level of insight in the word sons and daughters keep, keep it up thank you you're appreciated and you know who you are you know who you are brethren Israel wake up for those who don't care wake up understand you cannot go against him may I encourage you as you have encouraged me and remember like I said go to this look it up and with that being said love of Jesus Christ and Yahweh, the Most High, of all sovereignty, all sovereign, all sovereign, all knowing, almighty, King of kings, Lord of lords, Jesus, he will rule. Shalom.